children are among 10 feared dead after a military chopper carrying politicians lost control while surveying the devastation left by a 7. 2 magnitude earthquake in Mexico. Mexico's interior minister and the governor of the southern state of Oaxaca were on board when the helicopter crashed onto cars as it tried to land. Mexican Minister Alfonso Navarri Prieta told reporters that he and Governor Alejandro Mira Hinojosa avoided serious injury. He said two people on the ground were killed in the accident. Butf Rain de la Cruz Sanchez, the municipal president of Jamiltepec, confirmed at least 10 died in the crash, including children and adults, Mexico's NVI Noticias reports. Journalist Jorge A. Morales, who was also on board during the crash, said he saw at least three fatalities at the scene. He explained that the helicopter suddenly dropped and overturned, plunging into two parked vehicles after throwing up a lot of dust as it came into land. The pilot of military aircraft, which had flown from Mexico City to Pinatipa de Don Luis, lost control at a height of about 40 meters. Yesterday, Mexicans fled into the streets in a wave of panic after a powerful earthquake struck the country. The 7.2 tremor triggered the capital's quake alarm system and left buildings swaying for over a minute. Tearful city dwellers were seen consoling one another after the frightening quake, which came five months after 370 were killed by another powerful quake in the same area in September. According to the U.S. Geological Survey the epicenter of the tremor was near the town of Pinatipa de Don Luis, in the Oaxaca state 217 miles from the capital. It was said to have had a depth of 26.7 miles, 43 kilometers. Crowds celebrating the turn of Chinese New Year gathered on Central Reforma Avenue in Mexico City as the ground shook and buildings swayed for over a minute. Tremors were felt as far away as Guatemala to the south. There has been no immediate reporting on casualties. The quake was initially given a magnitude of 7.5 but was later revised down to 7.2. A further 5.8 aftershock struck southern Mexico an hour after the main shock. Resident Mercedes Rojas Huerta, 57, who was sitting on a bench outside her home in Mexico City said, it was awful. It started to shake. The cars were going here and there. What do I do? Local Julia Hernandez said, is it ever going to stop? We live in constant fear with the memory of what happened. We pay for your stories. Do you have a story for the Sun Online News team? Email us at tips at the sun.